Last Friday, Governor Lulian Guerrero vetoed Bill 133, which proposed a reduction in the initial fee for creating a limited liability company, or LLC. In a press release sent by the author of the bill, Senator Jim Moylan expressed that the intent of the bill was to, quote, encourage the growth of small business entrepreneurship by allowing the cost for business structure to be more reasonable. It's $1,000 uh, for that initial filing fee. And whereas in the nation, nationwide on the average, I think it's around 100 or 100, 150 or so, um, so we proposed that bill to reduce it from $1,000, uh, reduce it 75% to $250. Uh, that vote or that bill passed, uh, made its way up to Adaloo, but unfortunately, uh, that bill was vetoed by the governor. In the veto message from the governor, she stated that the legislation would impact the revenue stream for the Department of Revenue and Taxation. And Senator Moylan's response? I can understand that, but I can also foresee a, possibly an increase in revenue and and allowing our uh, entrepreneurs to have that opportunity for a greater protection and by passing this well should create therefore more more business or hire another person or buy another piece of equipment or even allow that person to get into business and then we're creating the opportunity to get back to work that's what that uh, this bill could have done According to Moreland, small businesses are struggling as it is and that the bill could drive business by not weighing down potential businesses with government fees. And even after a veto, Moreland says it's not over yet. Allow uh, those that are willing to take uh, the business and, and move it up or to start up a new business to not have to pay so much out of their pocket just on fees and fees to the government. It's hard enough just trying to get... Uh, what you need to start your business off. There's a possibility that um, I can move this uh, measure, the veto of the governor onto the floor for possible override. And if that doesn't work out, well, we can also look at the 36 one legislature to, to uh, reintroduce this and get it done. With small businesses struggling to keep the lights on, Moylan's hopes are that the reduction in fees would encourage more businesses, more jobs, and more opportunity to jumpstart a vital sector of our economy. I think it's, it's a good cause. I understand the governor's concern, but I really believe that if we help the small business more, uh, then we would see the returns in revenues and jobs, and there, then they will be paying their tax instead of excessive fees, which I feel uh, should not be the case, especially now during this pandemic. Let's help out the small business and reduce their costs on government fees. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Peter Santos.